You it is good yo it's your boy Ty back here with another video and in this video today we're gonna be talking about the bracket busters spotlight kind of whole thing in general was it good for the community or ultimately is it a letdown we're gonna be comparing it to past years talking about the time spent the cards you get just ultimately breaking down uh you know how good it really was now before we dive any further into that if you are new to my channel and have not yet, make sure to smash that subscribe button as we're on the road to 90,000 subscribers. So when you think about spotlights, right? When you think about spotlight sims, they've always been something that people would like to do. I mean, they, they do. And let's just go back to maybe the first spotlight that we saw last year. I don't know when exactly it was. We saw multiple spotlight sim type cards. Now, again, I don't remember the exact date that we got spotlights. But I do think Spotlight's in, in 2K20, if I remember correctly. That's where I want to go first. We got a guy like Larry Bird, right? Didn't it wasn't he a part of the Spotlights? I'm trying I'm trying to remember exactly. But I'm pretty sure we got like a Larry Larry Bird. He was a reward card. Maybe this was in Spotlights. I don't really remember for sure uh exactly everything, but I'm thinking that he was the ultimate spotlight reward in in what I remember of 2K20 Spotlights. Again, I don't remember that much. Was was this was this part of it as well with Cam Reddish? I'm I'm thinking it was for whatever reason. You know, we had the Spotlight Sim E set, had the Spotlight Sim West, where you had 30 different total cards. I mean, it was in general, in my opinion, just good good stuff, right? The all-time Spotlight Sims, people don't like this, but even with the all-time Spotlight Sims, you know, we saw guys like Steve Smith. So it's like. Look, I, I know a lot of you guys might not like Spotlight Sims in general uh, or, or what came from them, but I mean, look at these cards. How many of you guys remember these cards? You know, you had the Diamond Robert Covington, who I used basically to Endgame. You know, you had a lot of other fun cards to use. Brandon Clark, I remember, was pretty solid as well. Again, that's when we're looking at the Spotlight Sim West. When you look at the Spotlight Sim East. You had other solid cards. KPJ was a solid, fun card. Obviously, Cam Reddish. You know, even Malcolm Brogdon was, was fine for his time. Rui Hachimura, I remember, was okay as well. So, you know, you, you go into the first spotlight sims that I think we ever saw. And you had the Pink Diamond Pascal Siakam as a reward. Who, I mean, we got in late May. So, I mean, it's hard to compare because we got Pascal Siakam in late May. But I love that spicy P card as well. So, you know, you had a lot to grind for, and you had a lot of usable, a lot of usable cards that did come from those kind of spotlights and challenges. Now, um, for the guys that don't remember, you know, the normal spotlights, they weren't necessarily as good, so uh, it's hard to really talk about them. But spotlight sims have always just been a little bit different. Now, when we talk about historic spotlights, here's when people are like, you know, the, these were better than the. Whole, I think they refer to it as the all time. So we'll get to the all time spotlight sims later. But the historic spotlight sims in 2K20 were solid as well. I mean, you, when you look up and down it, you got Sean Elliott, Walter Davis, Boogie Cousins, a lot of guys that I remember, Thurl Bailey. And so, I mean, you have a lot of guys that can definitely play. Petrie was also very solid. Sigma, Tomjanovic, just a lot of usable, usable, usable cards. Now, when we compare those to the spotlight sim East version, I mean, again, We'll say I don't think the East was as good, but you still got some usable cards in here. It's not like all these cards were just trash. Derrick Rose was solid. You got some solid cards in here as well. And then obviously Spotlight Sim Rewards. You had Chris Mullen and Agent Zero. Now, I don't really remember either of these cards being, you know, that good, that soup, but it's it's still one of those things like it, it was still, in my opinion, worth the grind or a fun grind. Now, the final Spotlight Sim. This was another Spotlight Sim that I don't even remember that well. Like, I know it's this final Spotlight Sim. I don't really remember it that well. I do kind of remember, you know, the Michael Cooper, Bruce Bowen of the world. But I don't really remember this too well. Obviously, Mark Gasol, Paul Pierce, you guys can see. This Spotlight Sim or whatever it was, I don't remember it too well. Um, when, when we go back into whatever this sp final Spotlight Sim is... But here's where we're looking at the as, as far as the all-time spotlight sim. Now, this is the, is the one where people are like, this was horrible. But, I mean, even when you look at this, Steve Smith was good. I get a lot of these cards weren't necessarily the best. But Steve Smith was good. And, yes, the all-time spotlight sim was not great. I'll be the first to say that. But, look, man, say what you want about it. We had a lot of spotlight sims in 2K20. And I feel like the overall consensus is that the majority of those spotlight sims in 2K20 
were better than what we saw yesterday. Now let's go to 2K21. Now I'm trying to load this spotlight into let's see if I can get it through here. Uh, just because I want, I want to see if, if there's a spotlight sim section, right? Obviously, Taco Fall was the finals. We had the gauntlet spotlight sims. I'm trying to see if there's another. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. This is perfect. So, here's where we're going to be able to see all of the spotlight sim kind of rewards, which is perfect. This is what you want to see. So, the gauntlet was obviously last. Before that, we did see some other spotlight sims in which you guys can see here, the spotlight sim right here. These were the ultimate rewards in the first spotlight sims, I believe, that we saw last year. Yeah, Jai Wall, Wes Unsell, Brandon Roy. Three really solid rewards. You also, down the road, you saw Sydney Wicks, who was really solid. As far as the rest of Pink Diamonds, Don Boosie was okay, but not great. When you go into the more current uh, spotlight sim players, these cards were not great. But again, Boogie Cousins was fine. Kawhi wasn't horrible. You know, obviously, you know, you got the ultimate rewards, which all the three of these cards were fire. John Wall, West, Until the Brandon Roy. And that's what I'm trying to get at. Like, all three of these cards were really, really, really solid. Obviously, later on that year, we did see the Gauntlet Spotlight Sim, in which we all know what this was like, right? The final reward, Taco Ball. But in here, you got James Wiseman, who is basically an endgame card. You got Cam Reddish, basically an endgame card. Terry Dishinger, who was so good. Eddie Curry was so good. You also saw guys like, you know, Gerald Wallace, uh, who was obviously incredible. Up and down the, the, the list, you, we had so many solid players, and then ultimately, you got Taco Ball. Now let's flash forward into the Bracket Buster Spotlight Sim. So, you know, Rubies were all terrible. You did get Salim Stoudemire, Luke Malton is not horrible. I just want you guys to know he's not horrible. He can play. And so you got some guys that are okay at the Amethyst tier. Diamonds, horrible. Pink Diamonds, not great. People want to hype up this John Wall. John Wall is fine. He is smooth. I'm just going to throw it out there. John Wall is not a top 10 point guard in the game. So, just throwing that out there. John Wall is smooth, whatever. And then you got, got to get the Galaxy Opals. Bill Walton, all I'm hearing now is, hey, Ty, Bill Walton's got shifty. Okay, he's got shifty, but on basic and normal dribble side, six outside of that, 74-3. But like, Bill Walton's okay, but he's not next level good. And the guy that I am pretty high on is Christian Leitner. Not a guy I thought I'd be high on, but a guy that actually has the best release, in my opinion, out of everybody. Fundamental dribble style can move a little bit, just solid on defense. Probably the guy I'm second highest on is Christian Leitner, and then obviously Danny Manning, but... You look up and down it, and it's like, okay, first of all, it's a four-hour grind. So it's a shorter grind, which, look, for, for what it is, is is probably what it's worth. But I feel like when you think of Spotlight Sims, you think of longer grinds in general. Now, I'm not saying they're all long, but you think of Spotlight Sims, I mean, sometimes it can take 8, 9, 10, 11, all the way up to, you know, a whole day. And so I feel like that's, you know, the problem is we only got a four-hour grind, and, you know, the cars replicated that. And so... When we compare the spotlight sim that we saw yesterday uh, or, or, you know, on Tuesday, it's like, okay, these cards are, are not great, but what is the, what is, is it worth the grind? And, and, and that's the problem is, look, Ralph Sampson is a solid card in my team. And I did a gameplay of him uh, with Monty, and I, I don't mind Ralph. But again, the problem is you're going to have to boost that speed, the interior perimeter a little bit. You're not, the 79 three ball is deceiving. Because the Will Chamberlain release is horrible. I, I used to stand for set shot 17. I legitimately can't anymore. It's horrible. Defensively, he's going to hold it down. But it's like, is all of this grind worth it for a 7-4 big? When we've got David Robinson, who is a buy now. We got Chris Stapps Porzingis, who is 7-3, who is, you know, 30,000 MT. And that's the hard time. I'm, I'm, or That's the problem I'm having trouble coming to uh, coming to grips with is how how is that worth the four-hour grind when, you know, we got... Christian Leitner, who might even be better than Ralph. You know, Bill Walton, who might even be better than Ralph. Heck, we got Hakeem. Even, you know, Tim Duncan. You, you can't even debate that Tim Duncan is not better than every player that we saw this, you know, in, in the spotlight sips. And Tim Duncan is super cheap. And so that's the hard part I'm, I'm coming to grips with is I grinded the four hours and, and I'm having fun using these cards. But when it comes down to it, these cards are not top cards in the game, right? And it is a four hour grind, so I get all that. You had I had fun doing it, right? I got a very fun player in Salim. I got a very fun player in Rob Sampson. But they're really not useful. And I can't really ever say that that's been the case before. Because even last year, right, if we go into, you know, the spotlight sim section of it, 
Even this first spotlight Sims, I feel like when we saw this, Brandon Roy was usable. Wes Unsell was a top power forward in the game, and John Wall was also very good. And so this came out on March 2nd, and, you know, if we got this type of Wes Unsell right now, I mean, I might use the card. Now, obviously, he's 6'7", and so that leaves a little, a little bit to be desired. But that's part of it. And even this John Wall is a lot better than the John Wall we saw yesterday. If we would have saw John Wall with an 84 interior, I definitely would be hyping him up. So, like... I get what 2K tried to do yesterday, but guys, it is March 23rd. It is March 23rd. It is, guys, it is March 23rd. We just saw a Kareem Abdul-Jabbar with these type of stats. I mean, come on, 2K. You've got to give us more if you want us to start grinding. Now, I get it. It's a four-hour grind. It's short. I'm glad you gave us Spotlight Sims. But we've got to do a little bit more moving forward to make these free cards for the no money spent players absolutely worth it. That's my my opinion, okay? We've got to make these spotlight sims. If it's more of a grind, I'm fine with that because people like grinding the game. But we've got to make more, uh, you know, give, give these guys a little better. Now, 2K tried. They updated some SIG stuff like that. But they still, in my opinion, didn't do quite enough. It's going to wrap it up for my video today, guys, on the spotlight sims that we did see. Overall, I do think it's a little bit of a letdown. I'm not saying it's terrible because I grinded it and I had fun doing it. But overall... The cards and the rewards, in my opinion, is just overall a little bit of a letdown. I want to know your thoughts down below in the comments, guys. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, man, I love you guys. And have a blessed day.